I'm David Lamb of Metalware SPA, a joint stock company located in Italy that is responsible for the communication activities of the Caspar project. Caspar is a digital preservation project that is co-financed by the European Union within its sixth framework programme. So, how can digital data still be used and understood in the future when systems, software and everyday knowledge continues to change? This is the Caspar Challenge. Caspar intends to offer a methodological and technological solution to digital preservation within the ICT market. Caspar is a unique operating system which allows it to interoperate with as many systems as possible. It can be implemented using any kind of emerging technology and is applicable to multiple domains, including both public and private organisations. Let's have a look at what the Caspar project has to offer. Casper project, so cultural, artistic and scientific preservation of knowledge for access and retrieval. It's an EU project um, that aims to produce tools and techniques that will allow people to uh, preserve uh, digitally encoded objects, which is, as I'll explain, uh, quite a uh, difficult task. Now we're basing what we're doing on the OAIS reference model, the Open Archival Information Systems reference model. It's an ISO standard that's used as the basis of most of the work that's being done in digital preservation. So the, uh, the concerns that people have uh, about digital objects are that uh, in future years people <coughs> won't be able to understand them, uh, they won't be able to, to use the data. So it's not just a question of, 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 of looking at a picture, it's being able to use the, the information that we have there. Uh, there's a danger also that the, uh, the, there may be some special hardware or software that's needed that is no longer available in the future. Um, a vital part of, uh, of, of, of preserving information is to maintain the authenticity of it. How do people know that this really is what, what people say it is? Um, the, there are access controls increasingly now on, on, the, on the digital objects we, we use. Uh, what's going to happen in the future when, when the companies that provide the licenses are no longer uh, available? Um, we might not be able to, to use the identifiers, the, the, the URLs that everybody uses now. 30% uh, of them uh, become unusable after, after a short time every year. Um, what's going to happen in, in five, ten years' time? Um, the people that we, we entrust with our data, um, those organisations may cease to exist. Uh, how, how, will, how, will they, they be, uh, how will the data be passed on from, from one uh, custodian to the next? And indeed, how can we tell whether any of those custodians, people that we, we are entrusted with our really very valuable data, um, are, are, are trustworthy. So these are all really uh, uh, difficult questions that uh, worry many people throughout the world. So Casper is attempting to uh, put together tools and techniques that will uh, help to address these things. initiatives are working on standards for digital preservation, but Caspar goes that one step further, as not only does it intend to preserve the data, but also the necessary knowledge that we require to interpret the data. We could say that Caspar is as important to digital data as the Rosetta Stone was for the interpretation of the Egyptian language. Thanks for listening.